it's time to begin our just pause practice, an exploration of yoga specifically and meditation. And enjoy this process of re-navigating. So our just pause practice, right? Our meditation practice for today uh, is, is an invitation, if possible, for you to explore a shift in your orientation with gravity. So specifically what I mean is that meditation itself is the intention. But when we put that meditation intention into practice, the asana that we choose, the shape that we hold, could be another layer of welcoming in rest. So I have been spending a lot of time with a propped leg as a result of foot surgery. So for today's just pause practice, I want to invite you to find a shift in your orientation. For me, I'm going to demonstrate legs up the wall. I may not stay there for the duration of our practice simply because I'm working with a challenge here with my leg. But if it works for you, you could put your legs, right, your, your lower leg on a chair and your back on the floor. Or if you are available to come into fuller expression of legs up the wall, we're just gonna come into our shape and then like we do in every other just pause practice, welcome the Brifwa, breathe, relax, feel, witness, and allow into this shape and this orientation. So as to, again, shift our intention from the work mode of the day into a pause, into a rest. And in support of that shift, shift our body from its upright orientation, head above heart, above belly, into more of a, a neutral plane, head, heart, and belly evenly supported from the earth below and let our legs, the weight of our legs, shift that energy and heaviness into the hip socket. Now the knees can be bent. The legs could even open up to a straddle. You could prop the low back or any other adaptation. Once the body has found its steadiness, Maybe your arms want to extend out to a T or out to a goddess or even circle overhead or lay on your belly. Once you land, take at least a few breaths to check in and see whether or not this is sustainable. Adjust what needs to be adjusted. Lovely opportunity to, to bind or to strap around the thighs if the legs feel like they're having to resist that folding open. You could also add a weight, even something like a block or a pillow or a shoe onto your feet to add again that extra sensation of downward energy. And then when you are ready, we'll begin again this pause practice to just be with what is here. Scan the body and notice where the earth connects support. Welcome in the permission of this shift in our body shape, our orientation, in our mental effort, and in our effort, our engagement of doing. Come back to just being. for more dharana or focused practice. Pay attention to how the body feels supported here, how the breath is received and the body accommodates each breath. For a more dhyana or flow state of practice here in our pause, notice where the mind goes, notice where the heart travels.
and stillness is the challenge today. Bring in some subtle movement, perhaps just opening and closing the fingers on the palm or rocking the head or adding a bit of a reset, maybe a, a wall supported bridge lift and then begin again, returning to the intention of rest to just pause body, mind and effort. And notice what's here in this moment. It's enough just to breathe and cultivate this now then. But as with every component of our practice, we can layer on a deeper intention of cultivating good, love, compassion, allowing. So if this opportunity is available for you now. It's enough again just to be with what is and let that be your focus. Or you can begin to contribute energy and attention towards cultivating goodness, hope, generosity, gratitude, love. And dedicating the next Series of breaths and moments in pause to plant those seeds that as we move back into the day, back into our effort, we've nurtured the soil for good. Notice where you are 
shape, the form, the effort, the intention. And as you're ready to release this pause, reorient yourself to the upright seated position. And again, please don't feel like you have to hurry right now. But noticing this shift, this control that we have within how we place our body, how we control our breath, we shift our focus of intention and mindset. These are the tools of mindful living. The resources for integrating yoga into a daily practice of living well. the hands on the heart. Now, as the center of this traveling continuum from the sits bones, the lower belly, intuition brain, up through the logical, the linear thinking mind brain, and rising in both directions to the end, ebbing and flowing out and coming always back to this heart this center of compassion. We move from our pause back into the movement, the work, the effort of our day. Take with you what it is that you need, that permission, that knowing that this is available with your control, with your decision, or this reset, this recalibration to begin again your day. May you breathe deeply, move freely, labor lovingly. May you live vibrantly. Namaste. so much. Any comments, thoughts, questions? Thank you. Uh, that was so dang frustrating. <laughs> Tell me more. I'm just trying to find any heaviness in legs up the walls. My legs just really wanted to bend and my knees come down to my chest the whole time. So let them. I did for a little bit, but it just wasn't satisfying. Okay. I really want that legs all the way up the wall extended feeling, but. Where's, where's your butt in relationship to the wall? Um, it was about four inches away. So I snuck a block in between my oh. butt and the wall just to give me okay. some feedback. And it helped yeah. a little bit, but. So. You've got multiple sides, right? If you try different distances with that block or two blocks so you can get the plug into your sits bones, you might find that, that first, the further away you are, the heaviness goes this way, right? But that's okay. That's still different, a different orientation than the heaviness going this way, right? So accommodate. As this becomes more accessible, you can start to slide the hips closer in and get that downward energy. But... It's just a matter of welcoming in a shift. It's not about having some ideal destination or some specific experience that you need to have, right? That's an attachment and that can in itself cause us suffering. So letting go of what we expect it to be and just embrace the idea that I'm looking for something different. Even if it's just the way that I'm paying attention is enough because you can get that just by paying attention in Dandasana, in staff pose, right? Yeah. Okay. Thanks for being Thank here. Thank you.